Copenhagen is the capital city of Denmark and a vibrant hub of culture, innovation, and sustainability. With a population of over 1.3 million people in its metropolitan area, Copenhagen is a bustling metropolis with a small-town feel. The city is known for its iconic landmarks such as the Little Mermaid statue, Tivoli Gardens Amusement Park, and the colorful Newhound Harbor. It is also renowned for its commitment to sustainability, with extensive bike lanes, green spaces, and a goal of becoming carbon neutral by 2025. Copenhagen boasts a rich cultural scene, with world-class museums, theaters, and galleries, and a thriving culinary scene that celebrates local and seasonal produce. Overall, Copenhagen is a fascinating city that offers something for everyone, from history and culture to nature and sustainability. Number 1. The Little Mermaid. One of the most famous tourist places in Copenhagen, the Little Mermaid is a small statue made of bronze and granite, sitting on a rock at the Langelini Promenade. The statue was commissioned by Carl Jacobsen, and unveiled by a Danish sculptor, Edvard Eriksson in August 1913. The statue is inspired by the fairy tale Little Mermaid by Hans Christian Andersen, and depicts the moment when the mermaid transforms into a human, looking towards the shore and waiting for her prince. Number 2. Newhoun? Newhoun is a waterfront, entertainment, and canal district, that was founded in the 17th century as a gateway to the old inner city from the sea. The numerous 17th and 18th century townhouses, cafes, bars, and restaurants situated on the harbor make this district one of the best places to visit in Copenhagen. You can see several historic ships lined up in the New Houn Veteran Ship and Museum Harbor and the Danish National Museum. You can also see the Memorial Anchor and explore the bars and restaurants offering a great view with excellent food and drinks. Number 3. Amalienborg Castle. The home of the Danish royal family, Amalienborg Castle has four identical facades around an octagonal courtyard, with a monumental equestrian statue of King Frederick V, founder of Amalienborg, in the center. Here you can see the changing of the royal guard, Den Konglia Livgard, that takes place at 12 noon every day. You can visit the four identical buildings with classical Rococo interiors and royal history, where many monarchs have lived with their families over the years. Number 4. Copenhagen Zoo. The Copenhagen Zoo was founded in 1859, and is one of the oldest zoological gardens in Europe, most famous for its new elephant house that was built by Sir Norman Foster. The zoo promotes and maintains numerous European breeding programs, and has a wooden observation tower that was built in the year 1905, and offers views of the city and surrounding parklands. Some of the exotic animals that you can see here are turkey vultures, roseate spoonbills, Bactrian camels, black-capped squirrels and lions. Number 5. N.Y. Carlsberg Glyptotique. Also known as Glyptotikit, is an art museum that houses the personal collections of Carl Jacobson, the Carlsberg Brewery's founder's son. The two main departments of the museum, the Department of Antiquities and the Modern Department, exhibit sculptures and paintings from many ancient and modern cultures, making it one of the famous places to visit in Copenhagen. You can see art and history from 3,500 years ago, 19th and 20th century paintings and sculptures, relax in the winter garden, and quench your hunger at the restaurants nearby. Number 6. Frerikspur Palace. Located near the Copenhagen Zoo, the Frerikspur Palace was originally built as a summer residence for the royal family, with Baroque-style architecture. Its location on top of Frerikspur Hill, with a view of the stunning Frerikspur Garden, has earned it a place in the list of top places to visit in Copenhagen. You can take a guided tour of the castle and the chapel, to see the beautiful architecture including ceiling paintings, stucco work, a marble bathroom with a secret staircase for access, and the pancake kitchen of the princesses. Number 7. Copenhagen Opera House. 
One of the world's most modern opera houses, the Copenhagen Opera House was opened in January 2005, and is the most expensive opera house built till now. The southern German Jura Gelb Limestone, clads the entire opera house and the foyer is made of Sicilian Perlatino marble, making it one of the must-visit tourist places in Copenhagen. The walls are adorned with maple wood, the ceilings have sheets of 24 karat gold leaves, and the decor also has four bronze reliefs and three light sculptures on the foyer. Number 8. Struyat. This is Copenhagen's largest pedestrian and car-free shopping area located in the center of the city, and is also one of the city's most high-profile streets. Here you can find numerous shops ranging from budget-friendly shopping chains, to some of the most expensive brands in the world. Besides shopping, you can also visit the Church of Our Lady, the Stork Fountain, and the City Hall Square. Number 9. Christiania. Founded in 1917, Christiania or the Freetown Christiania, is a planned residential community located in Copenhagen, and is most famous for its relaxed view about cannabis or hash. Some areas of this community, especially the Pusher Street area is considered quite rough, and has its own separate rules, that visitors have to follow. You can explore the area through guided tours provided by the locals, offering a visit to the workshops, galleries, music, and eco-restaurants. Number 10. The Round Tower. Formerly known as Stellaberghi's Hafnians, the Round Tower is a 17th-century tower astronomical observatory, most famous for its equestrian staircase. It is the oldest observatory in Europe still functioning, and one of the top places to visit in Copenhagen, offering an expansive view of old Copenhagen. You can see the core of the tower from a glass floor hanging above the floor, and you can also visit the library hall inside the tower. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.